In this video, I'm going to explain to you how the famous Ayat al-Kursi of the Quran is actually a satanic verse from Satan, which practicing Muslims recite every morning and evening. Please finish watching this video until the end. Let us talk about the famous incident between Abu Huraira, a famous companion of Muhammad, and Satan himself to see how Ayat al-Kursi became known to the Sahaba. Abu Huraira reported that somebody came to steal food. So Abu Huraira caught this thief. The thief said, I'm a needy man with a large family. So Abu Huraira decided to release him. When Muhammad heard what happened, he said, This thief told you a lie and he will return. This incident repeats itself three times. And every time the thief steals food, Abu Huraira grabs him and then lets the thief go. Wait, really? Every time the thief comes to steal food, Abu Huraira decides to let him go. Something strange and fishy going on here, people. That's right. So when the thief gets caught for the third time, he says to Abu Huraira, please don't take me to Allah's messenger, and I will tell you a few words that will benefit you. So Abu Huraira asks him, what are these words? The thief says, when you go to your bed, recite Ayat al-Kursi, which is chapter 2, Ayat 255 of the Quran. For then there will be a guard from Allah who will protect you all night long. And Satan will not be able to come near you till dawn. When the Prophet Muhammad heard the story, he said to Abu Huraira, He who came to you at night, meaning the thief, he told you the truth, although he is a liar. And it was Satan. Wait, 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 wait. What is this man? I have some questions. Question number one. Every time the thief comes and steals food, Abu Huraira gets a hold of him, but then decides to let him go? Does this sound like a convincing story to you, Muslims? Even a donkey would understand, after releasing a thief for the second time, that this won't stop the thief from stealing again. A thief is a thief, after all. Hello? Question number two. Satan can tell the truth too? But Muhammad just called him a liar, though. Wait a second. That doesn't make sense. Question number three. Wait, Satan can teach the Sahaba Quran too? Hmm. Question number four. Satan gave a weapon in the form of Ayat al-Kursi to all Muslims against him? That doesn't make any sense. Satan sounds very stupid in Islam. That's right. I mean, why would Satan shoot himself in the feet like that? This is very, very fishy, my Muslim friends. Can any Muslim explain to me how Allah and Satan are not the same person? Muslims have been telling us the Quran is the speech of Allah, yet Satan teaches Quran as well? Hmm. Just be honest, my friends. Clearly, there is no difference between Allah and Satan. Early Muslims tried to make Islam sound beautiful. These storytellers tried to brainwash people for the last 1400 years. But clearly, Muhammad and his Sahaba used to be visited by demonic spirits and receive satanic verses, as you saw. So clearly, Islam is nothing but a demonic cult. I found a comment of a smart Muslim who is truly in pain and finally started to think for himself and is now in doubt. Here is what he said under one of these videos on social media regarding this fishy story. Arsim Arsani, a Muslim, asked this following question two months ago. I have a question. Why would Shaitan tell the truth about something that protects against him? Because I questioned myself, as a Muslim, about this and I can't find a satisfying answer. This poor Muslim never got an answer from anybody. Well, the answer is simple. If you have been listening to what I said in this video, then you have to conclude that Allah is Satan and he will always try to trick you. Satan is a shapeshifter and can even come in the form of an angel. Satan deceived Muhammad many times over as the white one. Yet Muslims try to convince themselves that when you recite Ayat al-Kursi in the morning and evening, you'll be protected against all kind of forms of evil. Muslims also use Ayat al-Kursi in exorcism to cure and protect them from shayateen. Lord have mercy, please stay away from this demonic cult called Islam. 